Hey there, Tech Savvy viewers, welcome to my channel. Thank you to all my subscribers. Your continued support is greatly appreciated. You help me help you. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button for future content. Please hit the, the like button and comment down below. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. All right, so now we are working on part 16. So let's, let's get started. All right, match each of the following cloud-based models to its description. We have the model on the left side, uh, security as a service, uh, infrastructure as a service, and platform as a service. And we have uh, three descriptions that we uh, will match with uh, them. Um, one, provides access to storage, network services, virtualization, and servers. Um, number two, gives application developers the opportunity to de develop and deploy software in a cloud environment. Um, or three, enables software to be hosted on remote server and access through web browsers. All right, so let's just go straight to the correct answer. All right, so the model of security as a service enables software to be hosted on remote servers and access through web browsers. Infrastructure as a service provides access to storage, network services, virtualization, and servers. And platform as a service gives application developers the opportunity to develop and deploy software in a cloud environment. Number two, which of the following are characteristic of a virtual machine? Choose all that apply. Um, all right, uh, uh, a, a user can access multiple guest operating systems without rebooting. 32-bit and 64-bit operating system may be installed on different virtual machines on a single host machine. C. Multiple virtual machines use the same hardware as the host computer. D. Running multiple guest operating systems is more expensive than running those same operating systems as host systems. Virtualization allows a single machine to act as though it were several machines. A single operating system may host several guest operating systems and may switch between them without being rebooted. These virtual machines may be both 32 and 64 bit systems. A virtual machine uses the same hardware as the most machine, which enables considerable reduction of capital investment. Number three, which of the following are advantage of cloud computing? Choose all that apply. A, rapid elasticity. B, DHCP services. C, resource polling. Um, D, measured service. And, all right, the correct answers are A, C, D. Rapid elasticity is the ability of users to quickly increase or decrease the resource they use. Resource polling allows a cloud provider's resources to be allocated, divided, and used by many clients simultaneously. Measured service means that the user pays only for resources used. DSCP is a network service that automatically assigns IP addresses to client computers and it's not a service provided by cloud computing. Number four, what is the name of the program that acts as a translator between the host machine and its virtual machine? A, virtual machine server. Um, B, virtual machine manager. C, virtual host manager. Or D, virtual guest server. All right, correct answer is virtual machine manager. Virtual machine manager, or VMM, manages the interaction of the virtual environment with the host environment. Um, number five, which of the following best describes sandboxing as it relates to a virtual machine? A, it's a type of hybrid cloud computing. B, it's a type of firewall between the host server and the outside world. C, it is a backup for virtual machines. Or D, it is an isolation of virtual machines within uh, the host system for better security. And the correct answer is D, it is an isolation of VMs within the host system for better security. Sandboxing is a security procedure that involves isolating a program, separating it from the main system. Okay, uh, a virtual machine manager that enables sandboxing um, or isolation of each virtual machine and provide physical partitioning of resources provide better security against attacks. Okay, guys, that covers today's topic. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. 
please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please leave comments and suggestions regarding future content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks guys. See you next time.